Hi guys, it's your science teacher here, back with another practical. This time I'm going to go through osmosis uh, with you guys. And this practical starts off uh, using potatoes and we're going to see how water moves in uh, and sometimes out uh, of the cells of a potato. So the first step uh, we need to do is we need to create equally sized uh, potato chunks. And we've got a little uh, cutter here. And it's really important that the potato chips uh, have the same surface area. So that is why I am using this potato cutter here, uh, because each one of the chips will have the same surface area. So I'll just pop it out like that. Uh, and then I've got my potato chip, and I'm going to need to weigh that in a second. Uh, I'm going to create four though first. Now I've got four equally sized potato chips, but there will be small differences with them. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm just going to cut the little bits of the ends off um, because uh, it can't uh, transform water through uh, the potato skin actually. So I'm just going to cut the ends off, uh, then I will measure the mass of each of my cuttings because there will be small differences in the mass depending on which part of the potato I've taken it out of. And I'll make sure I do write down the weight on my boiling tubes. So it's incredibly important that you record the starting mass of each of the potato chips. Because what we are gonna do now is we are gonna add different salt solutions of water to these potato chips. And we are then gonna leave it for some time, maybe half a day, maybe even overnight. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see whether the mass has increased or decrease. So whether water has gone inside that potato chip or come out of that potato chip. So I may need to make sure that I add the same amount of water to each uh, of my boiling tubes here. The first salt solution is one molar. This is my most concentrated salt solution. And I'm gonna make sure I add uh, 12 milliliters of each um, different solution to my potato chip. It's really important that it covers the whole of it, and I can see the 12 milliliters is perfect uh, for that. So I'm gonna keep with that 12 milliliters. The next one is a 0 0.6 molar salt solution. So what we, ex what we should expect to see from this practical is we should expect to see that the most concentrated solutions, the most concentrated we should see um, that the potato chips become lighter with them. The next one I have here is a 0.2 molar solution, so we will whack that inside as well. Another 12 milliliters. It's really important that we keep the same amount of water added each time. And the last one is just pure distilled water. So what we should see with this one here is hopefully with this one, the mass of the potato chip actually increases uh, with the pure water. All right, I've left this practical around two to three hours. <laughs> and we can actually see visibly that some of these potatoes have got larger and some of them have got smaller. So this is the one in pure water. And if I hold it up uh, to the most concentrated salt solution, you can see the potato here has swelled up and this potato has got a lot skinnier. <laughs> so we now need to re-weigh our potatoes. But before doing that, it's important that we do dry our potatoes off because if we do not, we'll just be weighing that excess water that surrounds them.
So I have re-weighed um, the potato chips and look at this one, the salt solution that was one molar. Um, look at that potato, it's a shadow of its former self. If we go down all the way to the potato that's been in the water, you can see how swollen that one looks compared to this. Um, it's gone down massively. It's gone down uh, almost 1.3 grams. You can see this one has also gone down uh, by mass quite a lot as well. Uh, this one here stayed about the same. Um, and that's because the, the concentration of salt in, that, um, in the solution, the amount of water, and that's because the concentration of water in the solution is about the same as the concentration of water in that potato chip. And if we go down here, this one has swelled up massively. The cells uh, have expanded uh, to allow more water in through osmosis. So what we can say about these different solutions um, on whether they increase the mass of the potato chip or decrease it is we can call them hypertonic solutions or hypotonic solutions. So here this is called a high per tonic solution uh, and that's because of the fact that it caused uh, reverse osmosis to happen it caused uh, uh, the water to leave the potato chip so this is a hypertonic solution over here we have a hypotonic solution uh, where um, the water actually diffused into them potato chips if the concentration is the same we can say that solution is isotonic. And that's what's happened with this 0.2 molar salt solution. The concentration uh, of water inside it was the same, almost the same as the potato chip. It went down slightly, slightly, but not very much at all. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did like it, please drop it a like and subscribe to my channel.